Hey everybody. Today we're going to discuss <clears throat> how to set up um, locations for your rental inventory. Maybe you have some assets in a different location in a different part of the country. Maybe it's in a different part of a warehouse um, or different warehouses in different locations. Um, so to set this up, we're going to first enable inventory locations on rental transactions. To do that, we're going to go to MISC Info, System, and then Control Table Maintenance. Once here, go to the Rentals tab. Then you're going to see an area here on the second column where it says Show Invoice Location. Make sure it's set to Yes. Then we can click Close. From here, we now want to build, that, those, build those locations and assign inventory to those locations. On the Rental Info, we're going to go to the Rental Inventory List. And here you're gonna see where it says quantity location maintenance. Now, this is a little bit different than what you see over here on the rental inventory list uh, fee, um, page. This works independently. This could be, um, for an example, this is going to be located on the top shelf of warehouse one, as an example. Um, more specific to where the item is placed in your warehouse. This does not keep track of the quantities in that location. That's what we're gonna use the quantity location maintenance for. So I'm gonna click right over here. And the first thing we have to do is build our locations. To do that, simply double click into this empty field. And I've already created three locations. You can build as many as you like. Every time you add a new, a new location, <clears throat> a new field at the bottom becomes available for you. Then all we have to now do is select our and choose a location and give it an opening quantity at that location. Maybe there's five at location A. Then I could choose the another item and in location B, maybe we have 10 of those. And in location C, maybe we have 15. And just from this screen, this is how you're going to build your locations and assign how much quantity is at each location. Then we're going to click close, and we're going to close one more time over here. Now we can create a rental transaction. Rental info, enter a new rental. I'm going to select a customer, doesn't matter who, and I'm going to choose that item. And right over here, I can choose pull that from location A. If I double click on the quantity, excuse me, if I double click on the item itself, you're gonna see the locations and what's, what's available on hand. That's it. If you have any questions, feel, feel free to hit us up, training at wisedromsoftware.com. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.